This conference will now be recorded. So last class we have discussed with certain things and all. So let's see how it works. So we had done with so individually how to calculate the parts of income statements like uh, how to calculate the COGS, gross profit, EBITDA, depreciation and uh, how to calculate the tax. All those things were done. So hopefully you people were able to do it. So PBT, profit after tax, PNL 1, 2. So in this, any of the things you are having doubt. So PNL 1 and 2, we will do it now. So before this, previously, this things and all, any of the concept you are having the doubt, you want me to explain it? If it is so that you people have understood how to do with the calculation and all means, we'll continue further. So let's do with PNL 1 and 2. I'll show you how to calculate the profit and loss 1 so that you people can try with this. I'll give you the time to try with this. Then I'll show you how the calculation will be done. So did any of you people try with PNL 1 and 2? Okay, so let's calculate the PNL one. So gross sell, what is the revenue that has happened? So here I have to take the gross sales that is three lakh twenty one thousand. So three two one. So three lakh twenty one thousand. So thirty two lakh ten thousand. Sorry. So less COGS. So I have to calculate the COGS. Here it is. So 2,56,000 plus purchases what has happened. So purchases here is material purchase. So 24,25,000 plus, sorry, minus. So here I have to reduce the ending inventory. 2,48,000. So my gross sales. Now I have to subtract this value. So 32,10,000 minus 24,33,000. So this is my gross profit. So now I have to calculate the operating expenses. Give me one second. So operating expenses, advertising expenses equals 68,000 plus lease. Lease is, lease amount is 52,000. So MGT salaries, management salaries. So salaries is 2,40,000. Then repairs, R&D expenses, 35,000. Repairs, 22,000. Plus returns, returns and allowance, 48,000. So now I have to calculate overall how much is my operating expenses. So I'll make all equals. I will get my operating expenses. Now I have to calculate my EB, EBITDA. That is this value minus this value. So 3,12,000. So depreciation I have to 
reduce depreciation that link equals 78,000. Equals minus EBITDA minus depreciation. It is 234,000. So interest. So interest, how much interest is 64,000 equals 64,000 equals minus 64,000. So now I have to reduce the tax. Tax is 51,000 equals EBT minus the tax. So it is 1,19,000 rupees earning after tax. Guys understood with this? You want me to explain it once again? Just you have to pick the values from the question and put it over there. That's it. You want me to explain it once again? We will do it. Everybody understood? Then I will give you 10 minutes of time to solve the first one and the second one. So once you are done, I will show how to do the calculation so far here after here. So 10 minutes of time for you to solve this PNL 1 and 2. So this is your answer.
guys anywhere you are getting stuck you did not understand how the calculations are done please do tell
guys able to solve it? Okay, let's do with the thing. So now here, the initial sales volume. So let's understand the question and then we will apply the calculations. Initial sales volume, that is units is 10 lakh sales we have done. Okay. So initial sale price per unit. So I have sold it per unit at the cost of rupees 125. So initial cost price per unit. So how much I have paid in order to buy that goods is per unit, per single item I have paid 75 rupees. Okay. Each year revenue increases by 15%. So each year, the first year the calculation will be done and each year I need to show the increase in the volume of revenue. And each year COGS increases by 20%. So as the sales is increasing by 15%, the same way COGS, that is cost of goods sold are going to be increased from year to year by 20%. So now let's take the values equals. So what is the initial sales volume? That is 10 lakh. Into so per unit I am selling at 125 rupees. It is 12 lakh 50,000 rupees. Okay, it's not 12 lakh. Fine. So now they are telling revenue is increased by 15%. So how am I going to calculate the revenue? Equals, I'll take this value, that is previous year value, into, open the bracket, 1 plus 15%. So here understand the concept. So first year the sales value what is there I have to multiply with 1. So when I calculate the same number with 1 the number remains same plus 15%. So 15% it has to calculate. So I have got my value. I will just come here and do the fill series. Okay. Now COGS. So COGS it is equals so how much is the cost, initial cost, that is 10 lakh, into 75 rupees. So now here they are telling the COGS is increased by 20% from year to year. So I will take the previous year value into open bracket 1 plus 20%. Close the bracket enter. So now I will come here and I will apply the fill series. Now gross profit equals so sales minus COGS. So I'll come and drag it. So here what they are telling is selling and administration cost. So administration cost are 25% of revenue for that year. So year 1, what is the actual revenue that I have got after making the sales? On that value, I have to calculate 25%. So here I need to take equals this value, that is sales value, that is my actual revenue into 25%. So I'll come here and drag it towards my right. So now, what is EBITDA? So that is equals gross profit minus selling and administration cost. So I will come here and drag it again. Now, what is EBIT? Earning before tax, interest and tax equals EBITDA minus depreciation. Come here and I'll just drag it towards my right. Interest they are telling 1500 which is same throughout the year. Okay. So here I'll tell equals EBIT minus interest. Come here and I will drag it. Now tax. So tax they are telling 30%. So tax is on. So tax you can see. 
tax is 30% of the earning before tax that is on EBT. So I'll take equals EBT into 30%. I'll come and I will drag it to the last end of the year. So profit after tax is, tax is, is equal to EBT minus tax. So this is my profit after tax. So have you people got this value? If you have got the same answers, then you have done the sum properly. Okay, let's go to the next one. So today I have shared the assignment that is for income tax, other things like income tax, uh, sorry, income statement 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to solve all this by. So I hope everybody has downloaded the assignment question is it downloaded yes ma'am okay so let's go to this Okay, now let's understand the question first. Company ABC where number of pens sold was 800 at a price of 200 rupees. Initially the company ABC had 500 pens but purchased at rupees 50 additional of rupees 900 more pens at the price of rupees 50. So twice they have made the purchase so previously they had already 500 pens. On top of it, they purchased another 400 pence at the cost of 50 rupees. And they have made the sale of 800 pence amongst all together at the rate of 200 rupees per pen. Okay. The company, however, incurred expenses like rent rupees 2000, salary rupees 5000, marketing expenses 3000 to run this business. ABC company purchased a car worth 2 lakh rupees through loan at the rate of 8% interest and expected life of car is 10 years. Tax to be paid is 30%. Find the net income. So now I need to calculate the total sales is equal to 800 into 200. So it is 1,60,000 rupees. Okay. Now, so cost of goods sold. So I have sold 800 pence. So equals 800 rupees pence and what is the cost that I have incurred to buy that pence so it was 50 rupees per pen so 40,000 rupees I have spent on COGS and my gross profit will be revenue minus COGS okay now next option it is rent so rent they are telling 2,000 rupees has been paid so equals 2,000 salary they have paid for 5,000 equals 5,000 then they have marketing expenses which is 3000 then total apex so opex total opex means operational expenses i am pressing alt equals so now in order to calculate the ebitda equals gross profit minus operate total operating expenses so it is 110000 so here depreciation and amortization so here i have to calculate with value of car divided by number of years so value of my car is 2 lakh so divided by so they are telling expected life of car is 10 years so divided by 10 so 20000 rupees is the depreciation so ebit so that is ebit ebitda minus depreciation so interest expenses, they are telling 30%, okay, 8% of income. So what is the loan amount I have taken? So 
where I have spent the loan means. So loan I have spent it on buying the car. Okay, that is two lakh rupees, and the loan amount has having the rate of interest at eight percent. So equals two lakh into eight percent. It is sixteen thousand rupees interest. So EBT earning before tax ninety thousand minus sixteen thousand seventy four thousand. Now I have to calculate the tax, which is thirty percent. That is on EBT. So seventy four thousand into thirty percent. So profit after tax or net income. So it is EBT minus tax. So this is the amount. So do this income statement first one, and try calculating the second one. I'll give you ten minutes of time. Sandhya, are you able to follow it? Ma, others are not even giving any response. I don't know whether everybody are attentive or what. So second sum or over, you have to take the values over here and put it. So income statement three. So like lastly, what we did P N L two, the same way only it has to be done. Try to solve with this also. So then I will show you how to do with the income statement three. So I'll give you fifteen minutes of time to solve income statement one, two, and three.
Guys, anywhere you are not getting, you are getting held up, please tell, I will explain you.
guys able to do it Is anybody having the doubt? Ma'am, explain tax. How to tax calculate part. tax? So tax part means earning before tax. Earning before tax, how it is calculated? So, so to understand, first I need to calculate the sales. That is 800 into 200. Okay. Then, so COGS. So I have spent 800 uh, how much the cost that I have spent to buy that 800 pence? So 50, 800 into 50 I have calculated. So gross profit, it is sales minus COGS. Then rent, salary and maintenance expenses, total operating expenses. So I will get EBITDA when I subtract gross profit minus operating expenses. Okay. Then depreciation and amortization. So the total value of the car, that is 2 lakh divided by 10 years. Okay. So 20,000 is the depreciation amount I am getting. So EBIT, earning before interest and tax. That is EBITDA minus depreciation, 90,000. So interest expenses. So I have taken the loan of rupees, 2 lakh rupees to buy the car. And the interest rate is 8%. So this is on 2 lakh multiplied by 8%. So I'm going to get 16,000 rupees interest, which I'm paying it on the car loan. Okay. So EBT, that is earning before tax will be EBIT minus interest. So that is 74,000. Then earning before tax. So tax. So EBT, earning before tax. So before I take the tax, so before I remove the tax, the earning that I have got, after spending all this operating expenses, depreciation, interest. So the remaining amount, what is there? On that amount, I am going to pay the tax. And tax is calculated at 30%. So earning whatever has happened after all the expenses, after the depreciation, after paying the interest. On that amount, the remaining amount, I am going to calculate the 30% interest. So my tax amount is 22,200. So profit after tax. So now on that remaining amount, I have deducted the tax amount also. After that, the amount that is left with me is 51,800 rupees. So this is my net income after all the expenses, depreciation, interest, tax, everything. Got it, ma? Did you people try with income statement too? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's see. So, sales is... So, I'm going to directly take the values here. So, COGS. COGS, how much they have given cost of goods sold. So, that is opening stock. So, opening stock. The beginning inventory, I can tell it has plus purchases. What is the purchase I have made? 24,25,000 minus closing stock, ending inventory. So this becomes my COGS. Gross profit will be sales minus COGS. So R&D expenses. So R&D expenses is, is equal to 35,000. Repair and maintenance. So 22,000. Salaries, 2,40,000. Is payment 52,000, advertisement expenses 68,000, 
total operating expenses alt equal sign do i'll get my total operating expenses ebitda is equal to gross profit minus my total expenses operating expenses now depreciation and amortization they are telling it is 78000 so equals 360000 minus 78000 so interest interest amount interest they have given equals 64000 so ebt earning before tax 282000 minus 64000 so this is 280000 is my earning before tax and here tax is 51000 so after this so profit after tax is equal to ebt minus 51000 So this is my profit after tax. Have you people got this answer? One lakh sixty-seven thousand. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So then let's go for income statement three. So here they are given the revenue and the COGS in the beginning. So here they are telling the revenue will be incremented by eight percent yearly. So like how we did it for PNL one and two, the same way is equal to nine hundred. Into one plus eight percent. Close the bracket. Enter. Now click here and drag it towards my right. Okay. So here on here there is eight percent increment on my revenue. So COGS they are telling increment by twelve percent. So I'll take the value equals COGS into open the bracket one plus twelve percent. Close the bracket. enter come and drag it towards the right i have done the fill series so here it is 900 minus so revenue minus cogs so this is my gross profit now operating expenses alt equals so i'll just remove this two things so it is from employee cost that i need to calculate i'll come here and i will drag the values so ebitda equals gross profit minus operating expenses so i will drag the values now they are telling depreciation is 125 so the values are given in prior so 41 minus 125 so it is in negative value so in the first year have i got any earning in the first year is there any earning for me so the first year it is a loss okay so first year it is a loss so tax i will make it has zero because if there is nothing left with me if i am in loss what tax i am going to pay so here i'll give it has equals 195 into 35% so second year i'm going to calculate first year i'm going to put it has zero because my earning is in loss so here i'll take this value minus tax so first year it is a loss so this is the amount this is the calculation what it is it should be so just check for the answer guys if you want me to explain it once again i'll explain it So if you people have not tried please try to solve this If you want me to explain it once again I'll explain you once again
guys if i am going faster or you did not understand any point please do tell guys hope you people are trying to solve it anywhere if you are getting stuck held up please tell i'll explain it
guys done Guys, done. If you are getting held up, if you did not understand any point, please tell. I'll do it once again and show. So let's solve the fourth one. So now here let's consider. So we have to create an income statement for Pankaj Traders. Pankaj Traders purchased 
hundred tables for rupees five hundred. So, so nothing is mentioned. So here you have to apply the calculations and all. So I'll just select some range and I'll increase the font size. So first thing is sales. So sales, what they are telling? So sales is Pankaj traders purchased 100 tables for rupees 500 and sold them for 750. So 100 into 750. So it is 100 into 750, 75,000. And next one, so has till now what we have done, COGS is the next step. So COGS is, is equal to, so I have bought that tables for 500 rupees. So 100 into 500. So now I have to calculate the gross profit. So gross profit will be equals 75,000 minus 50,000. I'll just highlight this so that you people will get to know. Next. Next, after gross profit, we were doing with OPEX, operating expenses. So operating expenses, what they have given. So they had a rent, staff salary and other marketing for rupees 2000. So equals 2000. So next I have to calculate the EBITDA, E-B-I-T-D-A. So that will be equals 25,000 minus 2,000. So here I will highlight this also, EBITDA. Next, so depreciation of machine they have given. So I have to calculate the depreciation. So depreciation is 2000. So 2000 and amortization is 3000. So overall it is 3000. So now here I have to calculate EBIT. So EBIT equals 23000 minus 3000. So next interest I have to calculate so interest how much they are take, telling so I have taken a loan of rupees 10,000 for which I am paying the interest of 10% so 10,000 into 10% it is 1000 interest is 1000 now I have to calculate PBT that is profit before tax so equals 20,000 minus 1000 this is my PBT. Next, what I have to do? I have to calculate the tax. So tax. So tax is on 19,000. So tax how much they are telling? It is 25% equals 19,000 into, sorry, into 25%. Into 25%. So this is PAT that is profit after tax so that will be equals 
19,000 minus 4,750. So profit after tax will be 14,250. So here they are talking about dividend. So dividend is 20%. So dividend means what it is. So that retained profit what will be there. I have to divide it equally to the shareholders. Okay. So this will be coming as a surplus. So here I will give it as dividend. So dividend at 20% they are telling. So 20% I am going to apply. So how much it is? Equals 14,250 into 20%. So 2,850 is my dividend which I am going to share it equally amongst the shareholder. So next this will be coming in. This will be coming as reserves. And surplus. So which can be said has retained earnings. Which comes in balance sheet. Okay. So this will sit in your balance sheet. So now after paying the dividend, the amount that is left is 4,250 minus 2,850. So this is your reserves and surplus. Okay. So try solving this. So when nothing is given, you should be in a position to apply the values, apply the content and put the values and solve the problem.
guys able to do it So here also in the income statement fifth one, there is a simple this one which you have to solve it. Okay. So try solving this. Any doubts till now whatever we have done. Understood with this income statement fourth one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, try solving this income statement five. Tomorrow I'll show, solve this and I will show you how to do it. Okay. So is it the repeated one only? Felt like this is already done or what? Okay. Try solving this. So tomorrow we'll start with balance sheet. Okay, so once we finish with this, then we will start with the balance sheet. So, hope you people don't have any doubts in today's class. I'll wind up the session for today. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.